Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Hello again and welcome. And in today's video, it will not be machining, it'll be a general chat and a show about rotary tables. Now, when you see most uh, uh, videos on, on YouTube, um, you, see, you see people doing some quite precarious um, setup because you know most standard uh, rotary tables uh, particularly the small ones um, when you've got four slots you know and, and, and quite often it's the case of you know the, the you, you can't get the clamp in in the position that, 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 that you want also the other thing that you see um, people do is of course you know they they need to machine the whole depth of the park so I mean some people you, you see them put a put a piece of packing underneath you know, scrap pack him to for the cutter to run into and others you see just putting it up on parallels um, so and, and quite often you hear them say oh I'll have to take this a bit gentle because it's you know the the the, the, um, uh, the part not clamped particularly well so what I'm going to show you in a minute is is um, a simple fix uh, it cost you a little bit more money of course but uh, uh, is to fit an aluminium uh, sacrificial plate to it so that you can you can drill and tap holes that that, that suits your part, and also um, it doesn't matter about the cutter. You know, you you you, you cut your part, and all right. So the cutter goes ten thou, twenty thou, whatever into the into the aluminium plate only. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's uh, sacrificial. You know, when the plate gets that bad that uh, you know you you you're running out of a decent flat spot, well, you just re-skim the top and. Uh, and, and, and carry on from there. Right, so um, as I say, you know, uh, a picture tells a thousand words, so instead of me sitting there waffling, uh, let's go back outside to the workshop and I'll, uh, I'll show you my rotary table with the um, sacrificial aluminium plate fitted. Uh, see you outside. Bye! So, here we are. This is my 6-inch, um, uh, I think 6-inch, rotary table, yeah, six, six inch rotary table with a um, aluminium sacrificial uh, machining plate uh, mounted on it. I mean, this this one happens to be three quarters of an inch thick, but uh, I would recommend if you could if you could afford it and, and, and find a piece, um, go for one inch because you know it give you give you many more years of, of, of machining and also give you a um, uh, a chance to actually drill um, much much deeper holes in it. Now, when you when you come to um, sink the cap heads, sink the cap heads down probably a good a good four or five millimeters, three sixteenths of an inch down uh, below the surface, so it gives you plenty of chance to um, to uh, you know do several re machines um, before you need to uh, deepen the screws again. Now it was just a case of it, it was on there. It's such a long time ago. I don't think that I. Um, uh, machined it on a on a later diameter. I think I just I think I just bolted this on there. It's roughly band sawed, and of course, and you can then, as I say, you know, with a you know, mount when you've mounted the thing up, mounted the uh, rotary table up, you know, you can you can mill around the edge. You know, you, you have your end mill going, and then of course you can you can uh, wind it round. You know, it's like uh, it's like um, you know to 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 true it up. And then, and then when you're ready for the for the um, top surface, um, you know, if if you've got one, something something like a like a shell mill, you know, well obviously that's that that's uh, that's rotate that's uh, right around the other side, you know, rotate it round, and at the same time, um, wind the uh, rotate the the um, table, and then of course, uh, you know, you you can you know once you've been all the way around, you know, just just keep going and and, and slowly wind your whichever you want to do X or Y um, until you reach the centre yeah hopefully you can make out um, you know all these uh, random holes there. see now, now, now the, the idea of, of, of this sacrificial plate is is that as I say you can actually um, you can put bolt holes for your part where it's convenient I mean that's that's the biggest trouble with a standard rotary table that, that's got I mean most most of these uh, El Chupo um, uh, small rotary tables have only got um, four slots. I mean, some of the uh, bigger, more expensive ones um, have got um, got eight slots. But uh, certainly, so 
you know, the, the, the idea of this of course is, is, is that you can actually put your part um, on here position it where you want then, then drill and tap some some um, uh, bolt holes now I recommend being aluminium you know use a nice coarse thread you know something like um, uh, Whitworth UNC or, or, or certainly the, the coarse metric series um, yeah now another thing that I've, that I've done on this is, is that that is a make that out there that this is this is a, a, um, a location recessed now this was actually machined in position so I used a small end mill and actually rotary mill with it so that I know that this is absolutely um, concentric with the with the um, the axis of the rotary table and then of course so you, I've, I've then got a I've then got a, a tightly machined um, plug that fits in there and, and this happens to be um, got a reduced arm as well so you can actually put that in there you say it's a nice location fit and of course you've, you've now got the uh, something that you can you can indicate on and also um, if your part happens to um, uh, have a hole in it that, that it actually needs to be on the center you can actually you know ream your hole to, to whatever size that, you, to, to, that you've made this and uh, you know for location wise now I know this bit doesn't fit, but this is just an illustration. Say you wanted to, you know, to, to make a part like this with a hole and a radius on the end, you could actually that would actually go over there and be clamped down. And of course, you know then that uh, that you're um, uh, concentric to the to the uh, to your pin. Now the the other thing that you really is is a nice thing to do is because this is sacrificial, you know, it it, it doesn't matter if you, you drill all sorts of holes in it, and also um, you've not got to worry about the um, um, the cutter digging in you know you, you see a lot of other people that you know that they they've either oh, they've got a piece of scrap packing underneath or they've got it up on parallels you know but there's 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 always the fear that um, you know you, you forget and move your head down too far or the cut happens to pull out at least with this um, it doesn't matter all right I mean as you can I don't know where you can actually make it there I mean look there's all there's all sorts of grooves and things where I've, where I've actually um, milled apart and I mean it doesn't matter that the cutter goes through and, and runs into the, uh, the aluminium that, that, that's what it's designed for now this being a sacrificial plate I mean say you had a, 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 a lot of parts to do say, say for instance this the, the slots at the end that's on the centre don't, don't be and, and you, to save a lot of setting up I mean don't be frightened to, to um, you know once you've located it you know put a put a you make can you make that out that's that's a pin put a Put a pin in it that comes up there and say you know drill two more down the side um, so that you know when you put the next one on there you, you just plonk it on up to the stop there pull it sideways tighten the clamp down and you know where you are um, you know no 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 setting up as I say it's, the, the idea of this is say don't, it's just don't be frightened to, to drill into it and mill into it and things that uh, you know it's going to make the job far more easier and uh, and a lot safer than, than when you see some of the other um, setups that people do you know just just with no sacrificial plate you know that you need that uh, mounting it up on the on the um, rotary tables machine surface you know you got to you got to be so careful with it whereas this of course it's um you know no way now finally just as a just as a little tip if you uh, in you know you, you're going to be um, machining a, a, a lot of parts and and your um, the, the same part um, it's preferential that you, that you um, once you've drilled and tapped this um, to use a stud and then of course you know to when you change your part you you, you, you just slacken on a standard uh, nut off the top so that way you don't put a lot of um, wear and tear you know whereas if you had a bolt you know keep screwing it in and out in and out you know eventually you're going to uh, you're going to wear this away um, but of course I mean if, if, you, if you've got the option um, uh, and you're going to use it a lot um, put a helicoil in um, you know that'll, that'll um, save a lot of, uh, of wear and tear and of course the other, the other nice thing is of course should that should you strip that out um, you know and you, and, not, and, you, and you still need that particular particular hole well obviously you know you, you can open it out um, you know, I mean 
I mean, see, most of these that's 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 three eight Whitworth on there. Um, you know, you you can open it if you've got a, if you've got a five eight Whitworth one, and just make up a, a steel plug that uh, that screws in there, five eight Whitworth on the outside, and drill and tap the bottom. You know, make your own helicoil. Uh, don't think I can say much else about it. I'm sorry that I can't show you any any machining um, as you're using it because I've, I've got I've got nothing to, that I need uh, rotary milling for at the moment. But they'll they'll there's quite a few photographs um, that at the end of, of showing this used uh, uh, being used, you know, the the, the setup. So uh, we'll take it from there. We'll we'll go in and um, and conclude and uh, catch you again in a moment. Uh, bye. Now I've just realised that there's something important that I uh, forgot to mention. Uh, you you often see people uh, on YouTube, you know, they're, they're setting up their radio radio rotary table, um, you know, and and they're they're trying to uh, centre it up, you know, either with a coaxial indicator or a centering clock, and they go, oh yes, that's it, you know, I've got, I've got it on centre, uh, and away they go. But of course, you can't guarantee that it's on centre. Yes, you have centered it on the uh, hole, your your multi table hole or plain hole, whatever it is on your rotary table. Yes, you centered it on that hole at that particular orientation. But is the hole um, true to the axis of the of the um, rotary table? So really, what you need to do is 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 then once you've uh, done that, um, uh, put the indicator. Uh, leave it on the if you've got a pig sticking out, leave it on that or put it down the hole, and then actually then rotate the table on its axis and and, and see how through that it runs. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that you know with all of these uh, Chinese imports, you know, yes, over there they they look reasonable, but, but how accurate is the is the um, is the uh, centre hole that you that you've just um, uh, dialed into the axis of your spindle, how concentric is that to the to the bearing of the machine? So that is something that you ought to uh, take into account. I mean really you if, if, if you want to you, you, you really you, you only need to do this once. Um, if you rotate it round and either you know find out what the um, you know where the high point is or, or the low point depending on which way you look at it and then look at your uh, at the um, graduations or the, the degrees graduations on the on the rotary table and say oh okay look at uh, you know 325 degrees um, you know that's the high point or low point and, and, and know how much it is and next time if you if you set it up when you're actually um, um, indicating the hole uh, if you want to as long as you position that uh, that mark um, so that it lines up and then you, you know that say five minutes like it's, it, it, it's too far out you can you can you can compensate uh, uh, with your uh, centering device hello so I hope you now uh, get the gist of, of, of what the whole thing's about as I say no more sort of hairy fairy uh, setups on the rotary table where the um, you know, the, the clamping is not as good as it could be and you have the fear of damaging your table as I say once once you've um, overcome I know you've got the initial uh, cost of uh, you know buying the plate and setting it up but as you can see it's, it's, it's so much easier to um, you know to use um, would, would advise um, I mean if you if you can um, go for the one inch uh, plate because as I say uh, maximum strength of a screw is is, is reached at, at twice the diameter. So say you're using um, uh, three eight width with bolts, um, you know three quarters of an inch drill it three quarters of an inch uh, deep, and and uh, you know you just, there's no fear of uh, you know running your drill into your uh, table surface. Now, as I mentioned earlier, so there's there's uh, there's no there's no machining. Uh, I've got no actual footage of it being used, but uh, there's several photographs that you'll see at the end as to um, you know uh, of this rotary table, and also um, I purchased a uh, another uh, an 11 inch one, um, mint condition. So uh, you know there's there's photographs of me actually um, you know mounting a, a sacrificial plate on the top of that. Um, take it from there. Uh, so once again thanks again for watching. Um, 
please subscribe, ring the bell, click the like, send me a comment. And until you see me again uh, in a future video, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, well and happy. And catch you again. Bye.